Hello and welcome to another Lawn Fun video. Today we're taking a look at the new Let's Go Nuts stamp set and coordinating dies. This stamp set has lots of cute little squirrels to make some fall cards and there's a little wagon with a pile of acorns that can go in the wagon or a pile of leaves, a tiny little rake, a scarf to go on your squirrels and a couple other leaves and also some confetti for some birthday cards. There's also a lot of fun sentiments in this set. My favorite is the one that just says, let's go nuts. And also, I'm here for you when life gets nutty. So let's make a couple cards using this set. The first card I'm going to make today is actually an interactive card. I'm going to be making a slider card using the little wagon, and the squirrel's going to pull the wagon across the card. First, I'm going to start by creating the scene that my little squirrels are going to go in. I have a piece of Distress Watercolor cardstock, a piece of Paper Bag cardstock, and also a piece of some Hello Sunshine paper. That's going to be the sky in my background. I'm using the straight slider that's going to go across the bottom where our little wagon is going to travel. So I'm going to put this here just as a placeholder to figure out how much space I need where I can cut my trees. So I'm using the stitched tree border and I'm just going to cut that out of that paper bag cardstock. So this creates the trunks for my trees. Then I'm going to use the stitched hillside that matches the same curve. And I'm going to layer my piece of distressed watercolor paper behind my trees. Then I'm going to take that curve that matches the one I've already cut. I'm going to snug it up right against the edge of that cardstock that's already been cut. And then I'm going to tape it in place onto the watercolor cardstock. So I'm using this so that I can cut that exact same shape out of my watercolor cardstock piece. So I'm just going to slide those out because I taped it between the trees and then I'm going to run that through my die cut machine and now you can see I have a piece of watercolor cardstock for the bottom. So right now it looks like snow because it's white but I'm going to do some distress inking and I'm starting with twisted citron distress ink to go all over and make this bright green hill. So now I'm going to go in with a little bit of Lucky Clover and I'm using my brush this time so I'm not as heavy handed and just add a little bit of darkness to the top edge of this hill. I can go back and forth between the two until I have it blended the way I like it. Now I'm going to go in with some Pine Needles Distress Oxide. I'm just Putting that on my craft mat here, I'm going to add a little bit of water with a paintbrush and I'm going to add some flecks of dark green to add some texture to this grassy hill. Now this is Distress Watercolor cardstock, so it actually kind of already has a texture to it, but this is going to add some visual texture to it. I'm just going to dry that with my heat tool and make sure it's all nice and dry before moving on to the next step. I'm going to go ahead and put that piece of pattern paper that I cut down on my card base. Like I said, this is going to be my sky. And then I'm going to pick out one of the oranges, actually both of the oranges in the Into the Woods remix pattern paper set and I cut the tops of the trees from those two shades of orange. I'm going to layer the lighter one in the middle and I'm going to use the two darker ones on the trees on the outside. So this is going to layer right on top of that sky and I can go ahead and glue this down to my card base as well. So now for the grass, this is where I'm going to cut out that slider slot. So I'm going to line that die up 
along the bottom making sure it's nice and straight and I'm making sure it's evenly spaced between the low part of the hill and the bottom of the page so I have an equal space around it for my penny to slide in. I'm keeping that piece that I cut out because it's going to be behind it so that everything's green and I'm actually using two pennies for this one because I have a squirrel and a wagon even though they're going to be connected. So I'm just laying those there so I can kind of draw a pencil line so I know where my foam adhesive can go. I want it to be outside of that pencil line so that those pennies have a nice slot to slide in. And so on the bottom, I need a really thin piece. So I'm just going to take my piece of foam tape and just cut it down the middle longwise so I have a really skinny piece for the bottom. So you can see how I'm creating that slot for those pennies to go in and they'll slide nicely. They're not going to get caught on that foam tape on either side because I have plenty of room between the two pieces. I'm going to go ahead and put more tape all over the rest of this out of the way of those pennies. So on the two ends and then the top of the hill there so it's all supported. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a little foam square on each of those pennies and make sure they slide in that slot nicely. Also to make sure that those are going to slide along really easily, I'm just going to add a little bit of my powder tool in there to make sure that there's no stickiness from those foam tape left behind. I've laid that hill on top of my car base. It's not yet adhered down but I've lined it up so that I know where to put that piece that got cut out. So now you can see that's in the back and it's going to line up with the hill so that the hill looks continuous, but yet my slot is still there for my slider to slide in. So I'm ready to go ahead and pull, peel off that liner tape on the back of my foam so that I can put this onto my card base. You can see I have my two pennies laying there about where they need to go. And I'm just going to make sure that those little foam squares on those pennies stick up through that slot. I'll just line everything up and stick it down on top of that paper bag cardstock. So now all that paper bag cardstock is hidden except for the tree trunks up above. Now I can start to put my little pieces together. So I'm going to have this wagon full of this pile of leaves. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue those leaves into that wagon. And that is going to stick on the pennies here, or on one penny. And then this little squirrel looks like he's pulling the wagon. He's going to stick on the other penny. So I'm just kind of figuring out where he needs to be. And I'll just go ahead and glue him like he's pulling the wagon. So this all acts as one piece. So I'm going to go ahead and pull off the liner paper from those two little foam squares. And I'm going to go ahead and stick him down. This is a good way to make sure that he slides before you add all your other pieces to your card. Just in case you need to pull something apart. I'm going to stamp the sentiment up in the sky and I'm going to be using some nice crisp black ink to do that. I'm going to stamp it up in that left hand upper corner above the trees and this sentiment says hello friend be grateful for the little things. Now I can go ahead and add the rest of my squirrels. I'm using some liquid glue along the bottom of the squirrels and a foam square on the top. Because that hill is popped up with foam, the part that touches the hill can go flat and the part that's above the hill needs a little bit more support. So I've added that one holding the acorn and then also the yay squirrel up there. And I've made sure that I colored all my squirrels in different colors just because I think it's fun for that variation. And then this little guy that's sleeping with the acorns. I want to hide him behind the pile of leaves. So it's kind of a slider and a surprise card. So when the slider moves, there's a sleeping squirrel behind the pile of leaves that's a surprise. I also colored and cut out a couple of the tiny little acorn that's in this set and I'm just going to spread those around to fill in the card a little bit.
And then here is my finished card, and I just think it's super cute when that little squirrel pulls the wagon away, we reveal his sleeping friend that's been hiding. So I'm going to make another card using a bunch more of those little squirrels and the Into the Woods Remix paper. I'm going to use that orange paper there and also this teal chevron paper to make a really simple card. So I've got a card base cut from some vanilla malt cardstock, which is that creamy color. And then I've got some strips of patterned paper cut here. This one is from that darker orange that has the stripe. And then I've also cut some really thin strips of that teal. I'm going to use my grid mat as a guide to make sure I have this straight. And I'm going to be putting this about an inch down from the top. It's cut long so that I can just trim off the ends when I'm done assembling these pieces. Then I'm going to put a really thin line of glue on the top and the bottom of that piece of pattern paper. And that's where I'm going to put these really thin strips that I cut. So it's kind of creating a nice border. So you can just butt those right up against that other pattern paper and you have this really nice look of patterns. So I can just trim off that extra that overhangs the card and this is a really easy way to have a nice clean line on the edge. You just cut it a little bit long, get all your pieces together and then trim it off with one cut of the scissors. So I'm using the sentiment that says, it's your birthday, let's go nuts, which I just think is too funny. And I'm stamping that in walnut ink right along the bottom, right directly on the card. And then I've got all my little squirrels that I've cut and colored out and some scarves for them to wear. I've colored them in all kinds of different colors. So where I live, we actually have white squirrels. They're not albino squirrels, they're white squirrels. And most of the squirrels here are also gray. So I tend to color gray squirrels a lot. But I like to use the different shades of gray in my Copic stash so that they all look different. And I really had fun putting a white squirrel right in the middle of my card. So the little yay squirrel, he's going to sit on top of that pile of acorns. And if you had that many acorns, I think you'd be happy too. <laughs> I've got the white squirrel in the center. I've got that little squirrel holding an acorn on that side. And then these look like a mama and a baby. So I colored them the same. So I feel like that one's like holding the hand of the little one. And I call this one the baby squirrel because it's smaller than the rest. So I'm just going to layer those over top of one another. And then of course I have this little guy and he's like almost about to jump off the card. So I'm adding a couple nuts. He's going to be holding one. He's trying to escape with his acorn, you know, before the yay squirrel with his hoard of nuts finds him. <laughs> And then I've also colored a bunch of the little scarves in different colors that I thought I would add to the squirrels so that they can be accessorized. So they are definitely ready for fall in their colorful scarves. And then I also colored some of the little leaves from this set and I'm just putting a circle of leaves over top of the squirrel like he kind of threw them in the air which I think is super fun. And I like how these squirrels and this scene sort of overlaps the top of the pattern paper. It kind of goes past the borders of the scene. And then I'm also gonna add a little bit of glitter to my leaves. That one wasn't quite dry yet, that's why it moved. But just a tiny bit of shine. And then here is that finished card and I just think it's so super cute just with all those little squirrels. Now let's take a look at some cards from the design team. I love how Tammy used the stitch dens to create a frame around her little scene and I also love how she incorporated the big acorn stamp set with those squirrels. It's just so much fun. I love Grace's card using the lift the flap tree background and I love how she used the gleeful gardens to bring in those mushrooms and create the perfect forest scene for these little squirrels to live in. Elise used alphabet dye to create a big bold sentiment and I just love that little squirrel over top. It's so perfect together. 
Elena created this soft background for this cute little forest scene. I love those little squirrels running through the trees and all the colorful leaves. Megan used the new shutter card die to create a Let's Go Nuts shutter card, and I love how she used the shutter card elements in the center to create a faux tree that opens up to that sweet little sleeping squirrel. I love Audrey's coloring of the background behind the lift the flap trees, and I love how she used the speech bubbles for her sentiment for the little squirrels. Kara's slimline card is so super cute. I love the idea of this one squirrel found the giant acorn while everyone else gathered up the small ones. I love Lynette's fall themed card and I love that she used the pick of the patch pumpkins to help set her scene with these little squirrels. Elena's shutter card is super sweet and she incorporated the new acorn house die to create a little acorn house that opens up to show where the squirrel lives inside. Super cute. And then Megan's card is super cute. I love the basket of giant acorns. I just think that is so fun that these squirrels found those giant acorns as well. And Maureen's slimline card is fantastic with all those details and all those leaves. I love how she used the lift the flap trees and cut them apart to add two trees to the top of the scene. The little squirrel at the bottom that replaces the U in the let's go nuts sentiment is just adorable. Thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.